involved with Chinese martial art mainly because of my family background. My mother was a well-known opera actress back in southern China in the 1940s. Being involved with the Chinese opera, male or female, they have to know martial arts because most of these scripts, they are written about Chinese warlords in the past. And then with my family pushing, I start training. And ever since then, they give me very good health, very strong willpower, and obviously they give me very strong physical power. So. I can, you know, look after myself. Sifu Tony Lung has been studying the ancient art of Chinese Kung Fu since 1963. His techniques originate from the Shaolin Temple, situated in the hills of southern China. For the last 20 years, he has been teaching Kung Fu in London. A young person is good to study Kung Fu because they will gain not only on the self-defense side of it, they will gain on self-discipline side, the self-control side, and give them a lot of confidence. If you put uh, a young person under good care and a good control of a good teacher, you actually bring them up into a very good human being. A weaker person, like a female, can actually drop a fairly big sized person of a male counterpart. It's not because she got muscle or she can drop him. There are points, there are certain points we call nerve points. And these are the arts that the females or the weaker person have learned the use of this techniques. They can actually put him out of an action within seconds. Kung Fu is not only just the, this, but it's up here. Now, if you're physically fit, you're mentally fit. So when your mind is fit and when your mind is strong, then people have a lot of confidence. That's why I would say that the arts actually is a way of life. The energy can also be controlled to form a protective shell around the body. In a fight situation, this would give you that vital second chance. This technique is known as the still jacket. <laughs> 